Ontario pharmacists will soon be able to prescribe medications for more than a dozen common ailments. As of January 1st, they'll be able to fill prescriptions on the spot without a doctor's appointment for 13 of what the Ministry of Health describes as the most common ailments. So the 13 ailments include hay fever, oral thrush, dermatitis, pink eye, menstrual cramps, acid reflux, hemorrhoids, cold sores, impetigo, insect bites and hives, tick bites, sprains and strains, and urinary tract infections. For more on this, let's bring in the CEO of the Ontario Pharmacists Association, Justin Bates. Uh, Justin, great to see you. Hope you had a great Christmas holiday. Let's get into this. So these 13 common ailments, how much a relief will this be for the healthcare system? Well, it's welcome news, and it's more than a decade in the making as we've gone through this journey to really tap into the existing expertise and high accessibility of pharmacies. And I do think this will make a significant contribution to creating capacity in our healthcare system, helping to ease some of the pressures within primary care as well as in the emergency departments. If we can deal with these common ailments in the community, closer to where people work, live, and play, and give them more convenient options uh, for community-based services through accessing a pharmacy and a pharmacist's expertise, then we're going to go a long way into uh, dealing with some of the system pressures. Mm -hmm. And Justin, how will this work logistically? If a person comes in uh, needing to be looked at by a pharmacist, do they go into that little room in the back, or is it just kind of an over-the-counter, hey, put your head closer to me, let me take a look? H how does it work when a pharmacist tries to diagnose someone? Yeah, great question. Uh, and what we would encourage people to do, similar to the COVID uh, vaccination uh, program, we started to implement booking systems in all pharmacies and move to what we call an appointment-based model. So it will be very similar care pathways. It would be if you went to a primary care physician, you should call ahead um, or go online to the website of your pharmacy of choice. Um, ask if they are providing the service because it's going to look slightly different um, mm -hmm. January 1st uh, in different pharmacies. There will be a phased in approach. So we want to make sure that they're offering it uh, when you need it uh, and then uh, schedule an appointment. Um, so it won't be by the counter and leaning your head in. Mm -hmm. I can assure people it will be <laughs> confidentiality and privacy. It will be done in a private area. It's a one on one counseling session with the pharmacist so they can fully assess your current uh, condition and make sure that it's the most appropriate uh, treatment option. And they will follow up as well to monitor the progress and make sure it's effective. Okay. And Justin, will people need to bring in a health card in order to be seen by a pharmacist? Absolutely. This is going to be free of charge for all Ontarians. All you need is your provincial health card. So similar fashion as you would when you go to your uh, family physician. And uh, public funding has been allotted to all um, providers that are involved in this. So any pharmacy that's offering this will have uh, public reimbursement to ensure that we have equitable access, whether that's rural, remote, suburban or urban, which is a, a great thing for people uh, to access these services uh, with more convenient options. Mm -hmm. It sounds like, you know, it could be a promising uh, game changer. Justin, I want to turn the attention now to the shortage of, you know, cold medications, whether it be adults or kids. What are you hearing from pharmacies in terms of the situation there? I, I feel just anecdotally going to different pharmacies that some shelves are stocked, some are just bare for weeks and weeks now. Still a concern. We are seeing shortages. As you've mentioned, it is uh, different uh, depending on the pharmacy you go to. The supply chain is essentially catching up. Um, but as you probably noted, there is a shortage now in the U.S. One shortage usually begets another shortage. Um, and that's what we're seeing uh, in other jurisdictions now because it continues to be a very high demand for these products because we have the triple threat mm -hmm. of um, fevers and pain that's coming from RSVs, from uh, COVID infections and, of course, flu. Um, so once we can hopefully catch up, uh, we'll have a more stable supply. Health Canada is importing more of these uh, medications for over-the-counter in other jurisdictions. That's helping to supplement the domestic supply. But we still need to look at the root cause here because domestic capacity remains very limited. Um, there's not a lot of incentives for manufacturers. So when we look at shortages, whether it's amoxicillin and the antibiotic mm -hmm. category or over-the-counter medications for cold and flu and pain and fever, there is uh, you know, systemic issues here that we need to address. 
All right. That is Justin Bates, CEO of the Ontario Pharmacists Association. Uh, thanks for joining us to make this, you know, very uh, exciting announcement. And we'll speak with you soon, Justin. Have a happy holiday. Take care. Happy holidays. Thank you.